All right, so that, let's just go with the fourth quarter. <laughs> okay. 28 points. Defense keeps giving you the ball. But then that last drive, you know you've got to go the entire way. What's being said there on the sidelines and in the huddle? Yeah, I mean, I think really for us is this is it's kind of like the accumulation of our entire season. I feel like was in this game. You know, we had some ups, we had some downs, and then ups, and then downs again. Um, and it was just really fighting to you know let's go finish, let's go finish for you know the guys like myself leaving, and let's also go finish. So we can set some momentum for this team coming into coming into the 2024 season. And I think one thing being an older guy preaching to our guys is always maintain your belief. There's been so many games throughout my career here at Clemson that you know people might think we're going to lose. First thing that popped in my head was we played Louisville in 2021 and our defense was on like the one yard line and got four stops in a row. And I've seen things impossible become possible by guys just finishing and doing all that stuff. And I think that last drive was accumulation of that and it sits a feeling I'll never forget. All right, let's go to two plays on that last drive. Got a fourth and two with their 36 or whatever it is. And I'm like, do they run the football or do they pass it? And the coaches said, let's run it. Mm-hmm. As an offensive line, how does that make you feel? Yeah, it makes it, it makes you feel good, but, it, but it's a lot of responsibility as well. It's like the coaches are trusting us to get it done, to get two yards, to go forward. And I'm sure Kentucky's thinking, like, all right, they're, they're probably going to run the ball too. But being an offensive line, especially you got Phil Moffa back there and you got Shipley back there, whoever holds, whoever's running the ball, you feel really confident. You feel really confident in that. I'm glad we did it, worked out. And then I don't know if I'm stealing one of your questions, but when we got down there and it was first and three, you know, the clock's against us. And, you know, coach is like, hey. No timeouts. No, no timeouts. It's like, hey, we're going to run this ball and we're going to go score. And, man, us getting put in and you saw Phil and other guys piling in, giving the last effort just to throw them over the goal line and we got it done. And, man, it's just it's just a great feeling. So, yeah, what, so he calls timeout after Brenny goes down with yep. the three. You guys go over to the sideline. Who said what right there? Yeah, right there, Coach Swing was like, hey, we're going to hand the ball off and we're going to run it and we're going to get it in the end zone. This is what we're going to do. And then everyone obviously going to go line. I'm like, hell yeah, man. Like, we're, yeah, we're about to do this. We're about to get this done. And I mean, I knew, I knew, I knew we could. I mean, we had guys. I felt like throughout that drive, we were able to hit some tempo. I think they're getting a little bit tired, especially once you cross the 50-yard line. Those couple plays, you could see they're kind of slow getting to the ball. I think it was starting to wear on them. I think that's a good testament to Coach Batson and our strength and conditioning staff as well. Um, and then, yeah, we were able to finish again. You got you got Phil Moffa, you got those guys back there, Shit, Keith Adams, all those guys. Like we're gonna get it in, and he did. All right, so. You've been around K Club Nick for a couple of years now. Do you think on that last drive, he was eight for eight on that last drive? I think he grew up a little bit. I think he did. I think he did. You know, and like I said, I mean, for me, for everyone, it's always been ups and downs. And I think he, he rose to the occasion. He led not just from speaking, but by his play style, by his own actions. And, you know, that really, that really means a lot to me. You know, him really stepping up, him really putting on a show. I mean, really, a lot, a lot of the game, but especially that last drive going in for eight. I don't even know how many yards he threw for, but just making plays, making things happen. And I think great players make other people around them be better. And I think that drive really showed that with him, him stepping up, made all these other guys around him better, and we were able to march down the field. Uh, one thing Coach Sweeney always says is like, hey, because I heard over her him talking to Kay, he was like, hey, this is just like a Wednesday practice when we do two-minute drill. Besides, you have more time, and we have more timeouts than we'd give you in the first place. Mm-hmm. So I think I thought that was kind of funny. All right, so final thing would be with Matt Luke. You've had a couple of weeks with him. What are your thoughts about him, and, and will the program be in good shape with him going forward? Yeah, definitely. Coach, Coach Luke is phenomenal. He did a great job. He didn't have to come and coach this bowl game. You know, like yeah, I think he had to go ahead and go recruit, but he decided to go coach this game. It means a lot to me. I think he was in the same situation as me. You know, his coach left going into going into this bowl game, and he decided to go stay. And he did a phenomenal job, and I think the O line's in a really good place with Coach Luke. He pushes guys, he gets after it. He's very energetic. I think if you've ever talked to him, you can you can tell that. Um, and I think he's he's going to do great things with his offensive line. Just want to 